Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. Thanks for being here today for an open box video from CAC Stickering. And so this should be fun. It's actually two separate little things here. And uh, th it's fun because I haven't had, I haven't looked at these at all. I didn't realize they were coming back. It's like Christmas. So let's see here what we've got. Uh, most of these coins are for customers and we'll talk about this 1923 Denver Mint. Denver Minted uh, Peace Dollar. Super tough coin. This coin is actually graded mint state 66. And we'll have to get it in focus. It has, uh, you know, really, really uh, interesting look to it up close. Lots of lots of different color and stuff. This did not did not cack on that guy. Let's see what else we got here. More orange rubber bands. Those are always helpful. We will use those guys. Oi. All right. First up is a braided hair, 1853, MS65, uh, red brown. Really interesting look on that coin. It has almost like a saucer look to it. Really very high luster. You see a lot of glossy finishes on copper from this time period. A lot of those have probably been in some point in time conserved or preserved with oil. This one that did not, did not sticker. Next up we have, see a proof, what we got here, the 1885 Proof 64 Red Brown. This is a coin that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I, I bought this coin and had it for all of like a day. And then my customer bought it and said, let's send it in for stickering. So, and that one did sticker. So Proof 64 Red Brown. So, you know, really on these Indian proofs, you know, this has a really nice overall reflective field to it. And you'll see on the proofs, a little bit harder to tell in this type of a setting. Um, you, you know, but you'll have that little bit of an extra rim. The rim is really, really covered with this style holder. So just the way that it's manufactured. But uh, very cool coin for our customer. Glad that they got one. Okay, next up. 1904, 1904, proof 66 plus brown. This one um, apparently is ours. That's exciting news. Because the photographer, filmographer guy here, videographer, whatever he is, he's not very good. Because some of you probably already noticed that you've got the, uh, the bean on there and the bean is placed in a nice place because that actually also has uh, the OG of stickers, the Eagle Eye Rare Coin. Thanks to Rick Snow and his work there. He's here in Tucson, by the way, in case you didn't know. What a, uh, you know, Tucson is like secretly some type of like numismatic mecca. Just don't tell anybody. We don't want word getting out. So that's cool. So I got one. All right, I'm happy. I can, I can be done for the day. All right, next up, this 84.0 is graded 66. Really, uh, really lovely fields. Great eye appeal. <laughs> Love just that little bit of a tone on the back edge there. I think I just always like it when you get such an open field and then you've got just that touch of proof-like finish to it. Let's see the back of this coin. Oh, it, very cool. Yeah, so this coin has has a modeled finish, and this is the type of toning that obviously a lot of you guys are gonna be like, yeah, not for me. I'm like, okay, no no worries. No worries, it's okay. Everybody has their thing that they like. Some of us like dark toning, depending on what it is. Unique coin, they did not sticker that guy. That guy is not, not uh, apparently not one of ours, so I've got this 23S in 
well, I mean, on this guy, there's a lot to like here as far as I can tell for a 23S, but they did not they did not sticker it. I find this to have a really high eye appeal for this date. Uh, and once again, some of you guys are looking for only blast white, and I totally get that, but my collector, he wants a little bit of toning once in a while. And last but not least, of all the things, here we go. Looks like the engineer's been playing again. Snuck a 74S Ike in there in MS-68. And this coin actually may already be, looks like there's a note that might already be sold. But uh, this guy stickered, so there you go. Fun fact, a little bit of a sticker action on a Silver Ike. So technically, I think I did pretty okay on my end. I got stickers on coins that belong to me. And for my customers, uh, you know, more of that, you know, one out of five lowers the percentage a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is still some subjectivity. But, you know, the one thing that I think most of my customers have said to me and they have agreed with was, if they have a sticker on a coin, they are 95% sure they're gonna like the coin. And I think that's the very, very basic concept. So, all right guys, well thanks for being here today. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.